Hey what's up guys, Brad here, so today we have a brand new Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution video, it's been a while since we've done one of these, but I wanted to wait and see if Konami would officially reveal any of the screenshots we got from V-Jump on their website, but they didn't, so we're going to do it now. Knowing my luck, the day I schedule this for, they're going to bring official screenshots out, so I do apologise if that's happened already, but we have a lot of news to go through regarding Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, which you may have seen on my community tab, but we have more concrete information as well as... Uh, some speculation as to exactly where the card pool for this game cuts off now because it could be going even further than we once thought. So uh, let's dive right in, take a look at the news, and yeah, if you enjoy the video and want to stay up to date on all the latest Lakers Doors Link Evolution news, hit that sub button down below, almost hitting 30k, which is kind of insane. So yeah, let's dive right in. So, first up, the main news we got is that the game is going to be releasing in spring of 2020 in Japan, that's the PS4, Xbox One, PC version and the update. Now, in Japan, spring is basically from uh, March 25th through to June 22nd. I think it's around that date, and so, to me, don't expect it in March, and don't expect it in April, because, first of all, the game's also coming with Master Rule 5 implemented, which means that that is the, the April 1st rule set coming to the game, which that you don't have to play your Fusion Synchro and uh, Exceed Monsters, into the extra monster zone or use link monsters for those monsters so it does solve the main uh the main downside of the campaign mode for this game which i and i thought and i thought when they first announced this update that this was going to be a for sure thing i'm glad i kind of stuck with that belief because it made too much sense and as you can see on screen we have a new image showing a uh, cybus clock dragon cybus wizard uh, a firewall exceeds dragon we have decode talker and we have a uh, cybus quantum all on the field and yusaku playmaker is playing against Bowman, you can kind of see it, kind of not in the top right corner, but uh, that's one new character confirmed outside the ones we already had confirmed, which are going to be uh, Emma Besso, uh, I, Revolver, Soul Burner, and Blue Maiden. and there's also going to be uh, nine other characters, including Bowman, that's going to be coming in this update, which is which is really nice, getting more of the Vrains campaign done. Hopefully, they will put in a proper story mode, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but it would be nice if they go back and add in some dialogue, but I doubt it would be kind of like what they did with Arc 5 back in the original game, where you just had more duels, which is fine, that's all I really care about anyway, but for other people, having a full campaign mode would be nice, but it's not been 100% confirmed yet. Now, before we move on any further, I do want to say, do not buy the current version of Legacy of the Duelist that's on sale on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. It's on sale right now on most of those platforms for like uh, 7 or $8, which is a really good price, but... We have nothing to confirm that those versions are getting this update. As far as we know, in Japan, it's a brand new game, so it will be a brand new game on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, which means that more than likely, it will be a brand new game for us as well. And it makes even more sense when you consider the fact that all of the people that have bought DLC for the game, they're going to get really screwed over because everyone that hasn't bought it would then have to get it or there'd be uneven playing field depending on what platform you're on. It is a really weird situation because of how the cast distributed in Link Evolution compared to the original Legacy of Duelist because there's no DLC, so that's nice. But we do have some more information. We also have the fact that we're going to be getting some more confirmed cards. Of course, we saw we had uh, Needle Fire with Haki Firebrax. We had IP Mascarena from Chaos Impact. And now we have one more, and that's Link God Dragon, which came out in Link Frames Pack 3 in the OCG. And in the TCG, is coming out in the end of March with Needle Fiber in a Dual Overload. So, more evidence that to suggest that maybe we're getting things from Dual Overload in this game. And it's not just going up to Chaos Impact, which is what people thought was going to be happening way back in December when they announced update. But it seems like, and from what we know, it's going to be going way beyond that. And we're going to dive into that right now. So now we're going to get into some big brain mathematic calculations because... We know the game has been confirmed to have over 10,000 cards in it. We also know the game is based on the TCG, in the only cards released in both the TCG and the OCG are in the game. Which is why we haven't had things like some of the dangers or the OCG didn't get needle fiber back in a day because there had to be a set uh, parity between the two releases. And so with that information, we can calculate every new card from the new sets that have come out since, uh, since Legacy of the Duelist originally came out and get to as close to 10k as possible. So, when the game first came out, we had 9,106 cards in the game, which included three TCG Link monsters, which is fine. So, 
Starting off at 9,100 is, is a pretty good number. We're getting around 900 new cards, which is also a very good number. So then we start to go through the year. And I've got a very, very badly, you know, WordPad document on screen right now. Uh, just going through all this stuff. And we go from like Shadows and Valhalla to have five imports. Then Legend of the Dawn 4, which was the set that had the Harpy monsters, the trains, that kind of thing. That was 26 new cards. Savage Strike, which had things like Phantasma, Extravagance, the Guard Dragons, those kind of things. That had 88 new cards. Soul Burner's deck had 11 new Salaman Great cards. Then we had Infinity Chaser with 39 new cards. Dual Power, which had 40 new to the TCG cards. We then had Dark Neo Storm with 88 new cards. The Pendulum deck with Endymion the Master Magician that had 11 new cards. And Bowser's Legend Heroes Revenge had 55 new cards. Now we're on the cusp of Chaos Impact's OCG release date, which is just a fact I put in there because why not? But throw it out of the way. Then we have Rising Rampage with 88 new cards. Rocket Revolt has 11. Uh, Fist of the Gadgets had 20. Extra Pack 2019 had 65 cards in it. It was the OCG only pack, but it imported all the TCG cards we got that year. So now those cards are free to be put into the card pool for things to come in Link Evolution. We then had uh, Legendary Duelist Immortal Destinies, which had the uh, the evil heroes in that were really expensive. We then have Dual Devastator, which had a couple new cards, and then Chaos Impact finally with 88 new cards. And all of those added together, there might be someone missing a couple here and there, like the Megatin cards, add up to around 9,776, which is still 250 off that good 10k number. So we're missing some more cards, so let's keep it going. Mystic Fighters had 40 new cards, that's taking us up to 9,800. Still 200 left, so what's next? Now we're in 2020, which means we have Legendary Duelist 6 Magical Hero, which had the uh, Elemental Hero support in, Magician Souls, that kind of thing. That was 25. Ignition Assault, the newest set that just came out, that 88. The Shadol Showdown Structure deck had 11 new cards, and Dual Overload, which has Needle Fiber, Link God Dragon, and a ton of new imports into the t of OCG. That had 56 new cards, it will have 56 new cards in it when it comes out at the end of March. And that takes us up to 9,998 new cards, plus the remaining cards from like the Megatins, takes you to around 10,004 cards in the game. Which, um, I think that's solid proof as any that we're going to be getting a, uh, a good chunk of what is current in the TCG in this game. This will be the most up-to-date game when it comes when an update comes out by a long shot. Because the original Legacy of Duelist, that one was, depending on when you bought the game, between six months and a year out of date, which is kind of insane. This one with Master Rule 5, with Master Rule 5, with the fact that all the product that released before that should be in the game, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? That anything before Master Rule 5 would be in this game. That's going to be the most up-to-date Yu-Gi-Oh game in terms of card pool, Aside from the T Street exclusive, no, uh, no, what's it called? The um, the Plunder Patrol, none of them. Uh, Barricade Ball Blocker, that's not going to be in the game either. So there's going to be a few cards you're going to be missing. But for the most part, if I'm right, we're going to be getting all the way up to Dual Overload, including it, which is insane. Because uh, that could then mean if they really want to, they could run out with a bang. And depending on when it releases, they could also include Eternity Code, the last frame set, which to me would make a lot of sense if they waited until the end of May to release this because we already know the game, well we think the game has a year exclusivity on the Switch so it might not be until you know April 25th that they can bring out the update anyway and then if the TCG is getting a new set on like May 5th maybe they'll just wait it out a little bit longer and then give us a update with everything that is currently in the TCG which would be crazy and then I think going forward they just have this cut then maybe they'll update this even more maybe they will That'd be kind of cool if they did. I don't know if they will, but this update coming, aside from not bringing tag duels and maybe not bringing, you know, uh, what's it called, crossplay. I, I wish they would, but they've not confirmed. I feel like that's going to be something they would confirm immediately if it was happening, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be happening, which is a bit of a disappointment. This is a pretty good update, honestly. And of course, new ban list coming as well. Whether it's going to be a amalgamation of the current ban list or whether it will be of the ban list, which we think are going to be dropping on April 1st with these new master rules, which would make a lot of sense because the format's going to radically change with that. Who knows? But yeah, in general, getting started with this update because all these cards coming, I feel like that, like, 
unless Konami are like, oh, 10,000 cards, we just rounded up from 9,700, then sure. But the fact they've got Need of Fiber in there and Lingo Dragon, which we aren't getting until Dual Overload, means there's some wiggle room in terms of the card pool not necessarily going straight up to Chaos Impact and going beyond that. So, Shadows might be in this game. It's a good thing, you know? So, yeah. That's going to be done for today's Legacy of Duels video. I do apologize for no dueling spirit today, but we're at Konami right now, which I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say. So, uh, or I would have been finished at Konami at this point. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that video soon. And if we get any more news for Legacy Duelist, I'll be sure to bring it to you guys as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Duelings video. See you then.